Banks always seem to have an answer, don't they? And now the NatWest Bank has got a new crisis. In East Ham today, the bank started spewing out money. The bank ATM machine started spewing out money. It was giving customers twice the money that they asked for uh, at the ATM. So presumably that money is going to have to come from people's accounts. It, it's going to either be clawed back or... It's uh, or or the bank is going to charge people more interest or whatever. It it it, it, it is it is extraordinary how banks can be so cack handed, so inept. And there's footage of this uh, ATM in action, giving people more than they want, with huge queues of people uh, gathered around, clearly thinking they're on to a good thing, and yet, and yet in the end. It's about the arrogance and the idiocy of the banks themselves. And it seems to be one particular bank um, in, uh, the, that draws all the attention, the NatWest. And the NatWest seems to be, I mean, I, I know from my own experience that its customer service is abhorrent. Uh, I went into a NatWest branch and I was treated with such contempt because I'd been told to go there by my bank and deposit money there, and they insisted that that wasn't something that they did. Well, my bank has confirmed that indeed that's exactly what they do and that NatWest was wrong. NatWest has since apologised to me uh, and sent me a cheque, which, of course, is, is exactly the problem I've got. I can't hand in cheques because I don't have... A, a a bank that is open anywhere near me. I would have to go some distance before I could find a branch of a bank that I actually use. So th this is the absurdity of it all. NatWest is supposed to process stuff and NatWest treats its customers with contempt. And Nat uh, Equally, the other thing that I found so extraordinary about NatWest was when I went in, the bank was largely empty, and by the time I was served, I was the only customer there, and they still treated me with contempt and still moved me from one desk to another <laughs> as if it made any difference at all. Banks need to wake up and recognise that their job is to be at service to the customers, not to lord it over the customers. They are a service industry, and they need to um, recognise their job, because in the end, the customers will go elsewhere. And yes, of course, banks will, will slap themselves on the back and say, well, you know, the, the, um, uh, the, the human issue of dealing with walk-in customers is, is a very small part of our banking uh, activity, but it's the part of the banking activity that people see. And people will, will respond in numbers to this appalling failure of banks to look after our money. What's the point of having a bank if it doesn't look after our money?